this is my waist measurement i divided my waist measurement by two and add half an inch allowance to it and my hip measurement i divided it to two and add half an inch allowance to it then i connected it with a curve ruler like this Then I will measure my hip, this, the down of the skirt. I will measure all this place like this. 44 inches. I saw this place. I closed it so to take the measurement because I don't want to divide the, the gather in two. I want to make a continuous gather. So I saw this place. I cover it. Okay. The down of this is 44 inches. So the gather I'm going to put here will be 44 inches. So your fabric has to be, be very long. This is a bandless skirt and this is how I cut the bandless skirt. I'll put my skirt on top like this. Then I will take it to the machine. I'll close this way just as I close this side in the skirt. Front facing front. Pin it. Then I will take it to the machine to sew. After sewing the band to turn it in the waist, you see, I sew the band and I turn it, okay? After sewing it to the waist, then I will now put my guard down. The way you do this is, you measure, I've explained it before, you measure this place, the measurement you have in this down you gather your fabric the same measurement this one is 44 inches and this one i gathered it 44 inches then after sewing this to the skirt then i will measure the second row then the measurement i get i'll gather it i'll gather the second step then i will attach it to it what i did here applies to this if I measure here 44 inches, then I gather this that I'm attaching to it, 44 inches. So, since I gather this place, this place is now wider. It's more wider. Then I will measure it. Then I will gather the next, the same measurement. Then the third step, the same thing. The fourth step depends on how many steps you are doing. Then I will now put the zipper. Then after facing the zip on it, I will take it to the machine to soak. 